cookie tray. Why, yes, you are indeed. And how I wish you were in my backyard. Then I could pick a cookie whenever I wanted. <laughs> oh, but how does a big tree... Uh, peach number uh, 222. 222. Oh, hi. We're picking peaches with rabbit. Time to slap my cat. <laughs> Any time, any place. The super sleuths. And a recalling? Wait a minute. It seems we're now needed at the bridge as well. No bother. How are we going to go to the big tree? We just need to splitify in half. You see, half of me will go to the bridge, and the other half of me to the tree, and then the third half. <laughs> team, the A team, and the other team, the A team. <laughs> who? why don't you and I take the mystery at the big tree? But there's nobody here. I wonder who could have called us. Well, actually... Oh, my gosh! Look, who? There are cookies. I'm hoping we can move this cookie tree to my very own backyard. <laughs> Ready? who? the two of us can't move a tree. I don't think we can move this tree, Pooh. But maybe... Hmm. <gasps> I know! If we want a cookie tree. So maybe, if we plant some of these chocolate chips, we can grow a... Cookie up. tree! I do you for? Well, my mama baked some cookies and put them in this basket to take to Lumpy's mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check. Crumbs. Good. Gotcha. But on our way to Heffron and Brett. But when we came back... Oh! Oh, the cookies are gone! That's terrible and very mysterious indeed. It feels particularly sunny right here. That's a perfect spot, Pooh. Now we need to dig a hole to put our seeds. Now we just need to wait for the tree to grow. Uh, huh. <gasps> I'm wrap the cookies in, and there's still a cookie left. This, my dear Lumpson, is what is known in the sleuthering world as a clue. <laughs> How much longer for our tree to grow, Darby? I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. Well, perhaps we should go inside for a smackerel and come back a little later. Oh, no, Pooh. It'll take much longer than that. How long? Your tree will take forever to grow, because cookies don't grow on trees. Oh, but they do, Rabbit. You're talking to an expert on trees, Pooh. Ah, gotcha! A rubber-type rabbit with his red hand reading the cookie jar. Tigger! Found your cookie taker, Rumpy and Lou. Well, what do you know? You see, Tigger, it is a cookie tree. Whoa, those cookies look just like the ones we lost. Great! Your case was about cookies, too? Yeah, we were taking some cookies to Lumpy's mama as a gift. But when we stopped to play, they went missing. I think these two cases are really one case. We have lost cookies and found cookies. So maybe those... You mean the cookie napper isn't cookie napping per se? Look! He's jumping to another tree! What is Kaploon? Tigger, I think it's somebody a lot less scary. Do you know who jumps from tree to tree and makes those chattering noises? My mama says it's nice to share. Just be sure to ask next time, okay? Thank you, Odess. If I planted one of my honey pots. Good night to Pooh. <laughs> Buster! Sorry, I hope his nose wasn't too cold. Not lunch, Pooh. Lunch! Full speed behind, and here. Wow, <laughs> that was the best blast off yet. Let's do it again. Uh, Pooh Bear, Darby, guess what I just read? 
This book is all about bears. Living means sleeping all through the winter. And it says right here that bears are supposed to do it. But winter's already half over. Well, that's why we must get to hibernating at once. Right. Um, how exactly does one begin to marinate? Hibernate, Pooh. Oh, sounds to me like Pooh Boy needs a helper in hand. Gotta slap my cap. <laughs> okay, Dark Buddy, it's Othen time. Come on, say the sleuth oath with us. It's the hibernation location destination. Are you hibernating yet, Buddy Bear? I do believe that I rather quite like hibernation. <laughs> then this mystery is his... We're not done yet, Tigger. He has to sleep until spring when the snow is gone. Oh, did it hear? That's lots of nights without Pooh. And lots of days without him, too. Uh, oh, good, 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 good night. Good night. Good anyway, good night. <laughs> <sighs> Wait a second. Oh. Hello, Rabbit. You're supposed to be hibernating. Oh, so I am. Oof. Not that you mention it, no. Mm. Um, but if Pooh isn't sleepy, uh, how will he hibernate all winter? Oh, <laughs> the, the book doesn't say. <laughs> I've heard that sometimes people count sheep when they want to fall asleep. Fine, but where are we supposed to find sheep? The sheep counting stuff is exhausting. No, oh dear. I lost count. Tired, Pooh. That's okay. We'll think of another way to make Pooh sleepy. Uh, I, I might have a small idea. Whenever I can't sleep, I listen to a very quiet lullaby. Stay warm, snuggled in your bed. Start sleeping, eyes closed, dreams dancing in your... What a wonderful song. Piglet? Uh, piglet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this just... But I don't have a garden. You don't need a garden to exercise. You, uh, you could go walking. <laughs> no bother. Come on, everybody. I'm like this. And follow the most Ah, snow monster. Snow monster? Snow monster. Snow kitten. Is the coasty Clary? Yep, the snow monster's gone. <sighs> You must have chased him away, Pooh Bear. Why, so I did, Piglet. <laughs> oh, the wood will be ever so lonely without a Pooh Bear. <laughs> oh, good morning to you too, Tumbly. It seems all that hibernation must be running late this year. Ready for blast off, Pooh and Tar Buddy? Oh, I forgot to remember. Buddy Bear's not here. Two hours? But didn't I sleep for two months? <laughs> no, 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 Pooh Bear. You must have just taken a nap. And it's back to bed with you, right now. Rabbit. Does your book say what kind of bears hibernate in the winter? Let me see. Black bears, brown bears, grizzly bears. Um, what about poo bears? Uh, uh, maybe guess you don't have to sleep through winter like other bears after all, Poo. <laughs> it seems I don't. But um, perhaps I will hibernate upon occasion. I do quite like the honey-eating part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> say that again. <laughs> You, buddy. <laughs> you too. Pooh's double trouble. <clears throat> Hi! Buster and I are helping Turtle pack up. He's moving into the old cave today. Have room for one more box? Thanks again for helping. 
<laughs> Just a few more leaves, Pooh, and I'll have enough to decorate my window. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I'm sure it's nothing, Piglet. I'll just sit this here for a minute. Oh, well, it's another me. Hello, other me. Oh, and the other me is friendly. Come out and see, Piglet. Appeared. Let's try to catch up with him, Piglet. Just imagine, another Pooh Bear in the Hundred Acre Wood. Oh, and then I'd have two best friends. Perhaps if we had some help looking. And I know exactly which helpers to ask. <laughs> right where we are. The changing tree. Right, Pooh. How'd you know? It was Piglet and I who sounded the siren. We need help looking for, um, me. He was gone. Another Pooh Bear? Oh, what eerie and awesome for wizardry could this be? Are you sure, Pooh? As sure as I'm standing here, which I'm definitely most likely go looking for honey. Well then, scooters away to the honey tree for Swiss of safety, etc. I need a rest. Me too. This moving business is slow going. It is another you, Tigger. And that one bounces too. He's not bad at it either. Disappeared again. Let's all split up. Maybe we'll find our other selves faster. Other Tigger? Other me? Good boy, Buster. Stay on the trail. <sighs> Bother. confused. Tigger, are you you or the other you? Whew. Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> Unless I'm mistaken. I'm not the other her, I'm me. Well, that'll save me a trip. I'll just tell you. We found you. I mean, her. I mean, what do I mean? <gasps> hey, where's Piglet? Right in front of me. Uh, just like a... Uh, uh. You... Are my friends, aren't you? And not my other friends? Oh, yes, Piglet. Oh, we've come to the conclusion. Get me? I wonder if it's time to stop wondering and start. Here's what I'm thinking. If the other Piglet was with Turtle and Porcupine... Maybe all the other other uses are too. I know Porcupine was helping Turtle move into the old cave today. Only 19 more to go. Oh, I feel bad I didn't bring a present. Uh, but what do you give another Tigger who has everything? <gasps> He's the other me! <laughs> yes. Hello. Oh, I do wish he'd stop waving, though. My arm's getting a bit tired from waving back. I think I just solved this mystery. Come on, everybody. Let's go meet the other us. Pooh, shake hands with other Pooh. It's very nice to meet you. And we saw the others. Oh, that is, ourselves. Now that's something to reflect on. <clears throat> May I still keep my gift? Oh, thank you. You know, I gotta say, it's kinda nice knowing I'm still the one and only a Tigger in the world. <laughs> and I like it too. <laughs> Me too, Tigger. And you're the only Buster Buster. Tigger goes snowflakey. The better they taste. Mm. Mm. These snowflakes aren't as sweet as last winter's. Mm. Favorite things to do in the winter time? Busters, too. <laughs> but I.
Oh, nothing can bounce like a digger. I never want to see you and your stripes again. <laughs> Wait, what did I do? You're nice and warm. Oh, I thank you. Until I see two snowflakes that are exactly alike. Ha ha ha. in no time. Okay. That one's white. Oh, that one's white too. I just like the one over there. Where'd it go? Oh, there's a round one. And another round one and a white round. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta slap my cap. The finer flag says that somebody needs our help at... The changing tree? But <laughs> that's where we are. Well, there's no one here but we. I gotta find them. Would you care for some assistination? Well, now that you mention it, a sluice boost could be of use. No, I couldn't <laughs> Impossible! Ha! For somebody who's not a tigger, maybe. Or for somebody who's not a sleuth, maybe. Or for somebody who's not all of the above, maybe. But... What was I talking about, anyway? Oh, well, that's just silly. I mean, look at all these flakies. Somewhere out there, there's a couple of just the same. And this tigger is gonna find them if it takes till lunchtime. Now we... Think... think. Sink, sink. And I think first we should look closely at some snowflakes. I tried that. Watch. No way. Good sinking, Darby, old girl. Now we can catch a whole bunch of flakies all at the same time. Is this the paper? Niff a fire. Aha. Aha. Yep. I proved it. All snowflakes are exactly alike. Six arms. And that one has... One, two, three, four, five... Six arm thingies as well. See? Told you. The arms on this one look like arrows. And these arms are round on the ends. And this one...